Good morning, everybody. We're kind of deviating from our program because we have a special guest, Austin Sass. Good to see you, Austin. Hi, Danny. How are you? Uh, people don't know this, but you and I have known each other for more years than we ever want to admit to. Is that not true? It makes us locals. Yes, it does. <laughs> it certainly does. Also make us very wrinkled as we get on the TV. Uh, I notice you're running for city council, and I'm going to cut right to the chase because I used to be chairman of Parks and Rec when we built the ice rink, and uh, I take recreation very seriously in this area. And one of the directives we came up with is we believe that if the city can build on recreation, it can help the economy and help us get out of the current economic problems the city's facing. So I'm just going to throw it right at you. What can we do to help build recreation in the area and get people to stay and play one more day? Well, I think the first thing we need to do is uh, start up a sports and recreation commission. We need to have a group of individuals who understand everything from putting on soccer tournaments to maintaining the ice rink to maintaining the ball fields to the bike paths and form a commission whose sole goal will be exactly that. How do we bring people to town, drive revenues? The Sports and Recreation Commission can start by taking a look at our current facilities and talking about what we need to do to attract some of the other events. I mean, as you know, we don't have the facilities right now. We don't have 10 soccer fields together. We don't have locker rooms. We don't have bathrooms. These are all the type of things that we need in order to attract larger events. So to start, the Sports and Recreation Commission needs to figure out what is it that we need to do to our facilities so that we can get where we eventually want to be, where we can attract these big type of tournaments. The Sports and Recreation Commission can also take a look at current assets that we have that are totally underutilized. For example, hiking trails. We have some of the world's best hiking trails within 10 no miles doubt. of Lake Tahoe, right? You can go climb up to 10,000 feet, you can go to Alpine Lakes, you can find granite rock formations like nowhere else in the United States. No one knows about it, it's not being promoted, it's not being talked about. So again, the Sports and Recreation Commission should start working with the Tower Rim Trail Association, with the Bike Coalition, and figure out the best way to get this message out there. You know, hiking trail maps in lodging properties would be a good start. Mountain bike trails and lodging properties would be a good start. And the lodging properties would love to work with us on this because, as you said earlier, it brings people to town, which brings revenue to town, which brings revenue to the city coffers, which means we can use all that money to enhance what we currently have. Well, the problem that, that I remember facing more than anything was the battle between the folks that said, well, we got to cut and we can't cut police and fire. Let's cut recreation. And I was always there fighting, saying, no, the one thing you can't cut is recreation. I know the battle of police and fire and the importance of it, but how important is recreation and how can we, from a city standpoint, build it back up besides just the, the Parks and Rec Commission? Well, I mean, if you talk of the Chamber of Commerce, Commerce and you talk to the LTVA and you talk to the lodging properties, what you'll find is a fundamental shift in our revenue source from gaming to recreation. Everybody wants to move in that direction. So I do believe with the Sports and Recreation Commission having a charge to figure out how to drive revenues to pay for the facilities that we're going to need, we're on the right path. There is, you're right, there is no money in the budget. Okay, the, I was just with the fire department yesterday. They've got 12 people. They must have 10 on staff at all times. They're incurring right. overtime. They're overworked. Uh, their equipment is 20 to 30 years old. Their buildings are old. And that's a major issue facing us too. So again, if we don't drive revenues in this town, and I don't mean taxes, I mean revenues, more tourists, yes. we cannot ever get out of the hole that we're in. And this current city council is not focused on revenues. They spend their time talking about things like signs, marijuana ordinances, and the loop road. And they need to move on to things that are going to grow our town, not leave it where it was. And you believe firmly that recreation is one of the areas that we can help put ourselves back onto a path where we're in the black as opposed to in the red? Danny, absolutely, it's a part of the puzzle. Is it going to solve everything? No, but it is definitely part of the puzzle. And as you know, I ski, I hike, I bike, I golf. If you look at all of the people that are running for city council, you won't find anyone as active in recreation as I am. So I think I speak from a good place. I'm passionate about being outside and doing things. And again, I think that we're under-delivering under our message in the Bay Area, in Sacramento, and internationally. And we need to get that message out to help fix the bottom line. Well, I know there was a lot of things on the budget, but you know, you're talking to a former Parks and Rec guy, so thank you very much for your time, Austin, and I appreciate it, and I really uh, appreciate the stance that you're taking on this, and thanks very much. Thanks, Danny. And you know what else is good? You can sit there and keep watching Tahoe Today because there's a lot more going on. Stick around <laughs> for more of Tahoe Today. Thank you, Austin.
Thanks, Davey.